Okay, let's talk about water filters. Now, water is very important when SHTF happens. And it's important on so many levels, it's amazing. This has got to be the best water filter on the market. Now, I can't even call it a water filter because actually it's a personal water purifier, not a filter. It's a purifier. But for people that don't understand what a purifier is and what a filter is, there is a big difference. Okay? And the other thing is purifiers are not cheap. They're, they're pretty expensive. Like, this is the one I carry. And if I show you this, on their website, it's 162 And then if you come down, this is the filters which run, you know, 73 70 bucks. They used to be a lot cheaper. But they've gone up since uh, what's going on with everything. Now, I have three of these sitting on the shelf, and these filters last forever. There's no expiration to them, nothing. As long as they're kept in a clean, dry environment, they last forever. I have three of these sitting. I want to get more. I'll buy one here and there. And I throw it on my shelf when I have extra money, is what I do. But the actual purifying system costs a lot of money. And... This is much different than Sawyer. Now, Sawyer has a bunch of straws inside that filters. It is a filter. It is not a purifier. They also claim a Sawyer will filter out 100,000 gallons of water. I don't know where they're getting it from, and I, I think it's a lie. Or they're twisting it where they said, okay, we filtered 100,000 gallons of tap water, which is not a true real life test. Now, many people use Sawyers in the Appalachian Trail and that's fine. Most of the water's clean um, and it's just taking out the odd thing. So the Sawyers work just fine. But if you were to take a Sawyer and you were to filter water that had a very smelly fish to it um, or it was a swamp and it was sitting and the smell of it was gross, and you could just tell it's just not very attractive. It doesn't remove that of Sawyer. So when you filter with the Sawyer, what's going to end up happening, if it has that fishy smell, it's going to have that fishy taste. Now the water's fine to drink, but you're going to have to gag to try and get it down. Where with a first need being it's a purifier, it's going to turn around and purify. So this has actual charcoal in it. So if I was to filter from... Uh, a swamp or a pond or anything and it has that fishy smell to it this would take that smell out so when the water comes out it tastes just like tap water there's a difference between the purifier system and then between the filter system and you'll see here where it says what it's been tested on and water purifiers work against viruses so this is a big part of what this does compared to a Sawyer. So like anything, you get what you pay for. Now, in an email I had sent to them, they said if you were gonna work on anything in the way of say a large family, and you were gonna filter water, they would suggest you use the first need base camp because you're not carrying it in your backpack. And if you go this way, then yes, you're looking at 900 bucks, then a couple extra filters, you're into, you know, eleven, twelve hundred dollars $1,200 to get where you wanna be. So, does their system filter pool water? And the answer to your question is yes. Now, I sent them a very specific email, and this is what they replied back to. You're more than welcome to pause this and read through it. But they basically tell you, you know, we advise that you do not use our purifiers or any system with pool water that has been recently shocked, okay? With chemical treatment until the chemicals have had an opportunity to dilute into the pool supply, just as you would wait to swim in the pool water until the chemicals have had a chance to dilute. So nothing works once you shock a pool. But let's say all of a sudden you're bugging out and, you know, it's been a week on the road, you've been on your pack and you've been moving and you come across a pool that has not been shocked. It's starting to build algae in it. Um, 
Yes, this filter will work in it. Okay. Water purifiers remove chlorine and many chlorine derivatives. Okay. However, our structured maintenance matrix technology, which is employed by all of our water purification products, is not designed to remove salt and minerals from the water, nor change the pH. Our systems do not designate dissolved salts that remain in the water. So it's not going to basically filter from what I can tell from that statement is ocean salt water. A lot of people will have salt water pools instead of chlorine pools. It really depends on the type of pool you have. So you're going to have that in there. So for the short term, yes, you could, if you were backpacking and you came across a pool, which they're everywhere in USA, you could filter that pool as long as somebody has not shock treatment in it. Now to understand more, this person actually explained in detail about the first need system, which is really nice of them to go into this detail. Okay. Like I showed you, they have a first need base camp, which was a thousand dollar water purifier. And they're also su that suggesting you get a replacement cart cartridge to have on the shelf. Now their first need base camp, the thousand dollar one will do a thousand gallons capacity. And you're going to get one gallon per minute, which is quite, quite a f amazing flow rate that you're getting out of that. So, and this has a 10 year warranty. It's an amazing purifier, not a filter. Okay. Now the first need, the one I use for camping and hiking, which is this one here where he talks about it. Okay. Does 180 gallons. Now notice that 180 gallons on average. Where Sawyer says they're doing 100,000 gallons. How can a purifier only do 180 gallons and Sawyer's over there screaming 100,000? Just that common sense alone tells you there's something going on there. Okay? And you got to use your own common sense with some of these things that they sell out there. Because remember, they're trying to sell you something. And if they could put 500,000 gallons, they would. But how are they able to put 100,000 gallons? Probably all they filtered was clean water. They probably didn't filter actual tests on it, is what it is. Now, a first need XLE water purifier includes the gravity feed system. I've never used that. You can hook it up and just constantly drip water from it. I just pump what I need. Also, we recommend keeping extra replacement car cartridges in case of short-term emergency becomes a longer one. And here's where they state. If it's stored in a dry, temperate environment away from fumes, an unopened first need base camp cartridges or first need base camp will remain effective for many years. For years. Okay? And I've swore up and down that this thing is awesome. And people will say, well, oh, they're too expensive. They're not too expensive. Save your bloody money and buy one. And that's it. I've got, I don't know, six Sawyers. I have two Sawyers sitting in my get home bag. And it comes in handy for what I need it for. Now, I've never used the Sawyer. It's in my get home bag when, the, when it gets winter time. Um, I don't need to worry. There's never been any water put through it, so it's not going to freeze and crack. And that's a big thing with filters or purifiers. You can't let these things freeze. You know, for example, when I'm doing winter camping, this thing goes in the foot of my sleeping bag. I don't let it get, I don't let it freeze whatsoever. And the same thing applies to the Sawyer. You can't let them freeze or they'll crack. Now, a lot of people swear up and down about the Sawyer straws. You got to be careful with those. They will work, but I find them very inconvenient to bend over and get the water and all that. I don't find that very convenient. Um, there was one guy that was backpacking with me and he had his sore straw inside his leg pocket and he fell down and he hit a log or something and he cracked it. So you have to be careful with whatever filter or purifier you carry. I will have a couple of videos linked to this video. You can go watch about this thing. You'll see it in action. Um, you're not going to regret buying it. So Uncle Al says don't filter pool, pure, uh, pool water. But this is a purifier. This will do it as long as they haven't shocked the water. There is a big difference. Now long term, no, you don't want to be drinking out of pool water every step of the way. I mean, but short term, yeah, sure. You come across a pool, it's full of algae. It's got you know, all kinds of plants growing on top of it. Well, a lot of the sun 
has bleached out the water and removed a lot of the chemicals of a sitting. So it really depends on how long that pool water has been sitting. The longer it sits, the less chemicals are going to be in it, and it just turns into a swamp water, basically. But the short term, you don't want to use the purifier if the water's recently been shocked. You'd want to wait a little while before doing it if the pool water is more new. But this, this will filter it. So, if a person goes and buys the big unit for a thousand bucks, then could they filter their pool and use that as a water source? Yes, they can. And I do welcome Uncle Al's reviews on this and because this is straight from the company. I would like him to let me know what he thinks. Does he believe this will work? Does he believe the company or does he believe no way? Because there is a difference between a purifier and a filter. And I have filtered some real nasty, uh, well, I should say purify, some real nasty stuff with this particular unit. And it's never failed me. Now, a lot of people will buy one of these units and they'll take it when they travel. And when they go to countries that they don't trust the water coming out of the tap because water gets very expensive in these countries, they use this and they actually have no issues whatsoever. So this is a great unit to put in a suitcase even if you're traveling. But it becomes one of those prepper items that I would say is a must hands down to have. If anything, to have the lightweight one that I own and an extra filter and have it on hand. Because water is something you need, especially with this heat right now. But um, give it a look. I'll have an affiliate link in the bottom going to Amazon. I prefer to buy it on Amazon. You get it a lot quicker. But you don't see a lot of YouTubers talking about this because they don't get it for free. You know, I didn't get this for free. The company didn't tell me to talk about this. Nothing. I bought it with my own money, and I've been using it for years. And uh, when people do find a video about these things, they'll, t they'll write in the comments how great they are and how they use them for everything. The only thing that is horrible about these is the weight because you're into a pound compared to the, um, you know, the Sawyer filter. Now, people have used the Sawyer filter on the Appalachian Trail for years, and that's fine because most of it's clean water when you're backpacking but when you want something serious and you don't want to mess around and like I said this will do pool water this is your only option you need to look at purifiers not, pil not uh, filters there is a big difference and you can send this company any email you want and within a couple days they'll come back with a nice detailed message as you've seen unlike Sawyer and I don't believe Sawyer can filter 100,000 ga gallons I'm sorry I just don't believe it and I do know when they use them on the Appalachian Trail, sometimes they get away with using one Sawyer all the way through, but sometimes they end up buying a second one. So that's, that's a good idea because you figure most people hike the Appalachian Trail can do it in four to six months, and they're using it every single day. So they're getting two, two and a half months out of a filter with a Sawyer. Now, four to, Sawyer filters are way cheaper. But like I said, whatever that water smells like is what it's going to taste like. Where this one here is gold. But like in life, you get whatever you pay for. So I have some links in the bottom if you want to pick one up. I'll have a couple of videos you want to check out me using it. I have never gotten sick using this thing, ever. And I've used it in some pretty nasty water. I really have. And, uh, and now it's nice to know that I can use it in pool water. So Uncle L, what do you think of my filter? <laughs> <laughs> Catch you guys later.